Just beyond these gates, teachers take their students outside of the classroom to learn a little bit more about the world around them. Well, my mom owns a greenhouse and she plants a bunch of plants and so does my grandma. Um, when I first started helping my mom, I I picked weeds and then I started planting the plant and then usually I we um I watered them. All skills that Max continues to learn about in his school garden at Ennis Schools. For the last decade, herbs, vegetables, and now bees live and thrive with the help from dedicated students, teachers, and professionals like Max. We were noticing that some of the kids didn't really have access to uh, maybe agriculture or didn't understand kind of how um, the land or the water worked in this area and so we wanted them to be come stewards of this area and the community um, and learn how lucky we are here. From kindergarten learning about the five senses all the way to learning about compost, weather patterns and planting methods and maybe the high schoolers prepping some recipes. We're kind of expanding now with the greenhouse into high school students being able to produce food for the school and the lunchroom. Bringing agriculture and conservation from the farm to the table. In fact, the first ever honey harvest happened just last week. A sweet treat and powerful way to learn. Giving students skills and knowledge they can take with them for the rest of their lives. Really the guiding principle of the GROW program is for them to become stewards and appreciate and be able to interact with the outdoors because we are so lucky here in the Madison Valley um, and we don't want a student to leave our school not having had that opportunity to experience that and hopefully in the future come back and take advantage of that. Students like Max can do things like pick corn, take seeds from sunflowers and so much more. In Ennis, Jane McDonald, MTN News.